How about Yuan Wu? Yuan Wu! This mafia boy looking guy here. Uh, and he's... He's rocking that blue. So, he has this basic combo, which is a 5 hit combo. Right? And he has a skill that drops the pillar down. And then give the electric field. And then if you hit something that... While in this field, it does a coordinated attack every like 1.2 seconds or something. And then while it's on here, you get his uh, Forte Circuit currency thing that's called Readiness. And you get that every 6 seconds. Let me see if I can find some enemies to fight while I'm talking here. I'm maxed out now, right? So I, I can get a full Readiness thing. So if I put this pillar down, you always want to put this pillar down. So while it's down, and then you do either the ult or you hold, you can actually hold the skill button. And then now you're lightning infused, your attack is totally increased, you get state of interruption, anti-interruption. And you start shredding armor super quick while it is happening. But the only problem while you're in this mode is that you don't get your readiness. So after it runs out, then you start getting it again. Alright, you can drop it down, and then you get readiness. You attack, you also get readiness. So, the nice thing about his ult is that it also blows that up. And it does massive damage in, like, I feel like it's like a straight cylinder. <laughs> and you get to, you get to lightning infuse mode while you, you do your ult. So, you got two ways to get lightning infusement. Which is the Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> but if you do it with the ult and you have allies nearby, they also get that lightning infusement. Which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much his basic. You want to always get his lightning infusement on all the time. And there is a difference between him and other characters. He's more like Tao Chi. Where he's actually based on defense. His basic attack does scale on attacks. But if you're lightning infused, you get a portion of your defense into the attack. And all his other skills and stuff scale by defense. So, um, I mean damage, right? So, into that damage. So, if you're lightning infused, your defense go into your damage. Let's look at that real quick, yeah? You got the lightning infusement. So, we got that here. So, lightning infuse infuse your regular basic attack by 15% here. And you can see all these numbers. Um, also, when you're actually in lightning infusement and you do a heavy attack or a counter attack, uh, let me see. I'll just put a pillar down so you can see. Once it's maxed out, you can lightning infuse me. You do a heavy attack, and then after that, you do a basic attack. He does like some kind of ground pound haymaker thing. <laughs> okay, let's get lightning infuse. All right, do a heavy attack, and then boom. Because so it's regular attack, just like this. But if you do like a heavy attack and you hit a basic, it does that ground pound smash thing. <laughs> United States of Smash. Yeah, get back in here. But yeah, if you notice here, everything is scaled on his defense. The skill damage based on defense, his old based on defense. So what you want to do is concentrate on defense. So what I would consider going for in nodes, I would go for Forte Circuit, obviously, for most characters. Do that and that. And then he has Electro Damage Bonus. So go that after you get your skills upgraded. Uh, his intro skill is nice. This does extra damage. His outro skill shreds through the armor. And let's just go straight into his weapons here. Immunity record is what I would go for. Uh, secondary, there's like two of them you can go for. This gives defense, which is great. And every time he uses his intro skill, he gives liberation damage. That's okay. But mostly because of the main stat defense. But I believe his best in slot is the BP weapon, though, unfortunately, right? Because crit rate. <laughs> He has crit rate, and he does spam skills so often, and then he gets his ult pretty often because of all the skill casting and stuff. So, crit, this is probably his best in slot at the moment. Um, the 5 star weapon, unfortunately, isn't his best in slot because it gives attack percentage and attack stuff. Okay. This one, um, the battle pass, this gives defense, battle pass gives crit rate. Pretty Best thing. Crit rate is like the one thing you usually go for. Especially when he attacks way faster in lightning infusement. So let's look at his echoes I will consider getting. Unfortunately, currently at this moment, there's only two, three cost echoes. So you have to get the bird, electro damage bonus, and flauntus, electro damage bonus. That's what you want to go for. And then the main stat you want to go for is crit rate, crit damage, obviously, because you can't get uh you can't get 
uh, elemental damage on the substats. And then you probably want skill damage as secondary. You could get basic at two and liberation is also nice. But I feel like you spam pillar so often, it's great. And then basic attack, probably secondary, actually, if I think about it. Because he also does a lot of basic attacks. Like, a lot of punching, especially lightning infusement. Um, and next, you want to go for defense. Defense, you don't want to attack. You don't need HP. You go for defense. He's pretty much an offensive tank, right? So pretty much that's what you're going to go for. And depending on your weapon, if you got the BP weapon, you can go crit damage. But since I'm using the Amidity Accord, I am using crit rate. You can see here, I went for crit damage. Heavy attack, I don't use as much, but it's not too bad. Um, you don't need attack at all, really. And then for the one cost, you want defense. Defense. You don't need really heavy attack. You don't need attack. You don't need really HP. And that's pretty much the gear. This this one, you can actually, actually for the boss echo, you can either go this one or you can go this one. Thundering Memphis or Tempest Memphis. I like Tempest Memphis because it actually it lasts shorter so I can get back into lightning infusement. This thing lasts a lot longer because you do five strikes. This one, just like you do a swing and then you just swipe, right? So it depends on your preference, how you feel, like what you want to play as. This one's not too bad because it actually teleports to enemies. This one's just a one-time thing, so I go back in, into attacking, the basic attacks and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build video. This one's a lot shorter than other ones because I do have a procedure tomorrow. I mean, actually not tomorrow, today actually, in a few hours. So I don't have time to like uh, go around killing too many things. <laughs> Since I actually took forever to get this. This is like the hardest thing to get. <laughs> this... This, oh my god. I've been trying to get this forever. Electro damage bonus. But yeah, feel free to check out my Twitch stream. This is my, I am a gauntlet main. If you have any questions regarding gauntlet character, that mean, if you come by and ask. And with that, later days.